Well, the city says it went from scarcity to surplus really quickly, and that's why they have all these available appointments. Community groups are now working to connect people with those doses. For weeks, we've been asking, where are the appointments? Why is it so hard to get a COVID vaccine? Now we're wondering, why are so many slots unfilled? The city of Seattle says it needs eligible people to fill hundreds of appointments at its West Seattle and Rainier Beach vaccination hubs over the next few days. Why so much extra? The city says it got a sudden increase of doses from the state this week, more than double what they were getting in recent weeks. Community groups are working to expand vaccine access to low-income people, refugees, immigrants, and people of color. But there are a lot of extra shots, and now any Seattle resident 65 and older can register. We need more people on the ground reaching our community to let them know that that access is available. It's Kathy Wilmore is with FAST, Fathers and Sons Together, one of the groups helping people get vaccinated in Rainier Beach. Our community calls from 6 a.m. to 11 p.m. at night. <laughs> they are very eager. The, the narrative is that uh, they were not signing up. But the reality is they just did not have adequate access to um, scheduling appointments. It was very, very difficult for them. As supply increases over the coming months and more people become eligible, the city will need a lot more space to administer shots. It just announced the opening of a mass vaccination center at Lumen Field. At peak capacity, this will be the largest civilian run vaccination site in the country. The city says although it currently does not have the supply to fill the stadium, they want to be ready when that time comes. That new vaccination site here at Lumen Field opens on Saturday. The city just started a new online tool to notify people when there are available appointments. If you text the word Lumen to 206-448-4545, we'll send you a link to get on that list. Live in Seattle, Ted Land, King 5 News.